This is not a normal movie. It is a big makeup and hair movie. Te puede maquillar así, por ejemplo. Sí. Por la noche. Sí. Te gustaría. Sí. My department is quite big. Probably it's the biggest I ever had in my life, like 250 people. Details are so important. Even though you don't see it, you feel it. This has really been a big challenge. They start to see every single drawing, what they used to have for ears and earrings, for nose bridges, for tattoos, and everything which is makeup. Our first thinking was, uh, how can we make the public understand who they are? Everything they used to do in, uh, in their life was for the gods. In fact, every single tattoo is a sign of uh, a religion. They had a concept of afterlife and a concept of life as it related to afterlife. The behavior that they'd exhibit because of that, you know. They had a concept of paradise and damnation and, and sin. <laughs> Village people, I mean, people that live with nothing. We've been very minimal with tattoos and things. Okay, cut. With the middle class, I went a little more tattoos, more air tattoos. We also get rich people and high class people. But then when you put all together, you see this difference between. Each person looks different. You've got these beautiful ladies with the jade teeth who are like using their fans and laughing and smiling. And you can tell that there's something different about them. Maybe you say something to her and you laugh. <laughs> the material we use for the earlobes is silicon because the earlobes are stretched. I could not use something hard. I need to have uh, movement. <laughs> Another very important thing was the Mayan profile. The real Mayans have curl nose. It's a particular Mayan nose, the original Mayan look. That's great. That was one of the first questions. Do you mind wearing a prosthetic nose? All the makeup, the scarifications, the tattoos, the various piercings that were applied to the actors every single day. Morning after morning, these, these busloads of extras would come in and there were rows and rows of makeup chairs with, with mirrors and little red lights above them. Every time a new makeup chair would become clear, then the red light would come on. There was an AD person going, okay, you go there. On the biggest days, we had 200 and some odd makeup artists working on hundreds and hundreds of extras. Action! And you see them all together. To give the richest one to the poorest one is made up with tattoos, with scarification. Yeah, that's it, that's it, Rudy, stay like that. All of them had to be different because we know the way the Mel shoots. He close-ups on every single extra and they are marvelous. Mm -hmm.